Hello everybody, it's SqueeJ Vanny back with another RuneScape video. In this video, I'm just going to teach you guys how to flip on the Grand Exchange to make a lot of money very easily in very little time. And you don't really need that much of a cash stack as well. I, I did most, do most of my flips with around a 10 mil cash stack as I have here. And this is just going to be a quick guide, an introduction into the flipping. Uh, show you how to do it, give you some uh, item examples, and give you some helpful resources. So let's get into it all right so we are going to start off by looking at this website which i have found i don't know how well known it is um but i don't have any sort of affiliation with this website i want to get that out of the way first and this is not an official runescape program by any means uh some third party made this website and it's extremely helpful for flipping so um you can search any items up here but we're going to start on the page which i most frequently visit and that is the Zora scales information page so there's a lot of numbers on this page there's only a few that you really need to pay attention to which is the approximate offer price which is what you'd want to buy at and the approximate sell price which is what you will sell at and tax is kind of important but that's factored into the approximate profit down here so this four three uh rows cells whatever you want to call them are really the only things you need to look at here so Right now, this, this also updates automatically every few seconds, so you'll probably see the numbers change while we're on the page. So, um, we're on Zora Scales. This is one of my favorite items to flip because there's so much volume, and usually there's a decent gap between the buy and the sell. Right now, it doesn't happen to be, but I'm sure you're, we're going to see it flip up a little bit. It was just at uh, 3 GP profit a few seconds ago. But um, I love Zoro Scales. I've made a lot, a lot of money off of Zoro Scales. That's probably 90% of the flips that I make are this item. And um, it's just, I always make around like 100K a flip. And sometimes when um, the TOA update came out, Zoro Scales were skyrocketing and I was making a million GP a flip just because the gaps were spreading apart. So usually when there's um, huge price action, is when the most profitable flips can be made. So there's something just to keep in mind. But we're going to head back over to the game now. I'm going to show you how to combine this website with the Grand Exchange and show you how to have low effort flips that'll make you a lot of money. All right. So it looks like the gap widened a little bit on the Zoro scale. So I want to take advantage of that. So right now we could see in the Grand Exchange, the median price is 175 and that's just the official runescape price and that only changes every six hours i think i don't know if that's accurate um but that's okay there's actively traded price but that website i was showing earlier has an even more accurate price so they are saying that we could buy for 165 and sell for 172 so we're going to give that a go um, we'll see if there is enough selling action at that level so i'll update if this buy offer comes through we might have to adjust the price but we'll be back all right so while that offer is cooking up in the grand exchange i want to show you what else about this website it's pretty helpful and some other items that i do check the prices on to flip so down here is a graph and one thing i want to mention is um obviously not every flip would be profitable and i find when the median grand exchange price is higher than the active buy price is when more of the trades that I lose a lot of money on occur. So if there's a huge gap between the uh, approximate offer price here and the median price in the Grand Exchange, not this price, I would be a little cautious and definitely don't leave those offers in overnight because the price can change drastically and go down drastically. You can see here it's been trending down like this and overnight it could lose 10, 15 GP and that, that could be a few hundred K um, of losses so just keep an eye on that but on the other hand if it's trending upwards i think that's generally a great time to flip and definitely try to leave those in overnight because the odds of it turning around and and dropping are pretty unlikely but um you could get a fill and make a huge profit up overnight so Keep an eye on it for that. If you don't have a lot of money to play around with and you definitely don't want to take losses, I would stay away for any time that the active price, the current price here is lower than the median grain exchange price. So let's get into a few other items that I like to flip. So um, a lot of sites suggest, obviously you need very uh, items with a lot of volume. So 
they suggested PvP items. So I like Prayer Potion 4s. Uh, I mean, right, they're not as profitable, and they're a lot more expensive. So you need like 20 mil to, to use the GE limit. But just keep that in mind. Sometimes these are pretty profitable. Another item that I like to use, which is pretty similar, Super Restores. Here also, I mean, they'll probably trend pretty similar in price. So we could see right now they're a loss, but check back in when you watch this video and it might be a profitable trade. Another one is Magic Longbows. So um, people fletch these, people alk them. So there's multiple uses for them. There's a lot of volume here. So right now it looks like there's a 21 GP profit per, but you, you know, they're, they're over a thousand GP each. So you need some money to, to trade this kind of on that. note, I'm not going to show you the U longbows just to take some, don't want to take some time, but U longbows, same concept, fletching, alking. And another one that I do is super, um, Sarah Dalman Brew, sorry. Uh, and also that's kind of similar to the super restores they go hand in hand uh, people make them for herb lore and they use them for pvm so actually it looks like there's a pretty pretty decent profit margin on the sarah brews so willing to uh, take a shot here i mean definitely if the current price on this website is higher than the grand exchange price i would say take that risk so those are just a few of the items that i use there's many 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 more out there and who knows you guys might find out some gold mines so leave them in the comments if you want to share what you found all right, so I don't know if anybody caught it in my last clip, but apparently I was at the uh, buy limit. So I was waiting for the Zoro scales to buy, but I bought them um, within four hours earlier. So the buy offer wasn't going through, so I had to wait on it, but um, I slept on it and I woke up to the offer being filled this morning. So we have the scales and now we actually have more than 30,000. So um, I guess we'll make a little bit more money. So right now the uh, GE tracker website shows there, it's fluctuating between 173 and 175 for selling. I think I'll put it right in the middle, see if what happens here, and I will catch back up with everybody when this offer goes through. All right, we're back. That didn't really take long at all, only about 10 minutes to sell all of them. So uh, if anybody was curious, there is no sell limit. There is a buy limit, so on Zelra scales, you'll see any buy limit just by looking it up. Um, so the amount is 30,000 and buy limits are universal. Like the, the number amount of item is changing, but the time is universal. So every buy limit resets every four hours. But on the selling side, there is no limit. Just if anybody was curious, because we were able to sell all 42,000 of them immediately. So let's check out, take a look at what we profited off that trade. So after tax, it was 7.43 million. And in all, um, we had two different buys, but Counting them together, that was 7150 So around a little bit under 300 k profit. And we did have a little bit more than the buy limit. So um, take that as you will. Um, it just happened to be how it played out. But another thing I want to mention is the traditional way of, of calculating flips. So um, before there was websites like the GE Tracker, you would just put in a buy offer for one unit of whatever you wanted to test to flip. You would jack up the price, the buy price here. The offer would hopefully go through. Then you would lower it on the other end, on the sell side, and right there. So then you take a look at your history and you see the gap here. So usually what you would do is you would flip these numbers. So we bought the skill for 167 and we sold it for 166 right here because that this price up here is after tax. So you just flip those two, so we would buy for 166 and sell for 167. In this case, right now, obviously you wouldn't do that because you would make uh, no money because of the tax. But that's how people used to do it before there was websites that tracked for them. So I just wanted to mention that um, before we wrapped up. So pretty simple concept to flip. Uh, the hard part is really finding items to flip, but that will come with time. And usually you'll find a few items that you'll stick with. Like I have, I've been doing Zora scales for months now, uh, prayer potions. I kind of do those if I have extra cash and, and the Zora scales just maybe aren't flipping as fast as I want them to. Um, but there's definitely plenty more items out there and people with bigger cash stacks can, can do, uh, PVM items and items that have, I mean, you just need to look for a big, for items that have a decent price fluctuation, decent volume, and the grand exchange price is a little bit off from their actively trading price because then you could fill that gap on a flip. But that's all I want to talk about today. I wanted to make this more of a quick guide, intro, give you the knowledge to take on flips yourself, 
and hopefully everybody makes a lot of money off them. So leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment if you want to share your flips down below or your strategies. Love to hear them. And subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Also, there's a Discord link below. And there's Twitch links below if you want to follow us elsewhere. Catch you in the next one.